Hi folks, Jason Clemens here from Clemens Boats in Sandusky, Ohio. Today we're taking a look at our 2015 Boston Whaler 285 Conquest. Another one of Boston Whaler's incredible boats. I'll get you a good look of the hull side here. This boat's got the navy stripe. Very good looking vessel. As you can see, windless with the nice plow anchor on it. Give you a shot of the port side here. Starboard side, rather. We've got the boat packed in here kind of tight, so it's hard to get a good shot of it, but we wanted to get a video up of the boat. They redesigned this boat a couple years ago and made it uh, very feature rich. It's been a very popular 28 foot walk around on the market. I'm going to climb up here and give you a shot of the inside. This particular boat is powered with twin 250 Verados. Those are supercharged straight sixes. It's all digital throttle and shift, electro hydraulic steering. Incredible engines, whisper quiet, no vibration. They're, they're really something special. If you never take one of those out, you need to do so. Incredible running boat. Let's step aboard here. We do have the fold down trolling seats on each side. There's one on the starboard side. Your bench across the back. And then there's the one on the other side folded up. Rod holders in your gunnels. Uh, instead of using pop-up cleats, they actually have built-in cleats. They're much stronger, but they have pull-throughs on them. You do have tow rails for anybody who's a fisherman out there. Of course, a live well in the back. <clears throat> this seat does fold down out of the way for fishing, but it is a very comfortable seat to sit in. Nice big stainless mounts. All you need to do is pull it up and down. There's no switches or anything to lock, which is great. It's a lot easier to use than most. You do have fish lockers in the floor here. We have this uh, material laid down so we don't get the boat dirty, so that's why that looks funny. Everything's finished off in all your compartments, which is a great thing. They keep them very nice, clean finish. You do have a cockpit sink back here. Your VHF radio right next to the home seat there. Big storage pod here. We've got our shore power cord in there right now. You've got a very nice passenger seat here. You can move this backrest forward and back to so sit forward or aft. You've got a footrest if you sit aft. And then there's a fill-in cushion for that so you can sit down on that and lay your feet out. Really nice design. You do have a bunch of drawers down here as well for storage. Of course, the biggest feature on a walk-around is the walk-around. You do have very nice grab rails here so when you're walking up to the bow you have something to hold on to. Of course, your horn, your spotlight in the front and your antenna mount here. Very easy to get up to the front of the boat. You've got your hatch, of course your windlass up front. You've got a remote for that up here and then you also have one at the council. Here's a shot at the boat from the top side. Very nice looking boat. All powder coating around the hard top here. Just a very feature rich nice boat. Again, as I say in most of these videos, Tons of features on the boats. It's impossible to get them all in a short video that we're doing here So if you have any questions be sure and get a hold of us. This is kind of more of a Inventory overview instead of seeing pictures you can actually take a look at the boat another great feature this boat has Battery switches that are easy to get to That's really something special a lot of these boats you have to lift a compartment and be a contortionist to get to the switches It's really easy on this boat. You can reach right down and get to it You've got your fusion stereo, there's your auxiliary port, USB port, again DTS, digital throttle and shift for Mercruiser or Mercury. That's a great system. One lever, sync button, dock mode, all, all fly by wire, effortless to use, very nice. Trim tabs with indicators, of course your spotlight control, your stereo uh, main remote. Vessel view system, which again is standard on all Verado powered boats. You got your Raymarine E127 touchscreen, and then all your toggle switches. Of course, your compass. Again, all powder coating in here. You do have a vent for your hardtop to get some air in. 
Right now we've got our Z glass on the sides here. You almost can't tell, but there is glass there. Those pop off to get yourself some more air, and then of course there is a full curtain that zips into the back here. So you could have that fully enclosed in on a bad day. Bear with me here as I climb down into the cabin. As you can see here, full berth to sleep in the front. There is a table under here. I chose to show it down, but you can't have a table in here if you'd prefer to have that uh, as far as eating down here in the cabin. Most people in a boat like this seem to use the back end for that and seem to just use this more for storage and for sleeping and overnighting. Of course, head compartment. Got a sink, vacuum flush head. Very nice wood finish down here. As with everything on a whaler, all top notch components. Very nice looking boat. You do have a small aft cabin. You can see all of the canvases in there at the moment. Uh, but there is a small aft cabin. It's great for kids. Uh, if, if you want to sleep four people in here, you could certainly do that. Over here to the galley, you see you've got a nice cutting board. Very nice countertop. It's not a cheap uh, Formica top. It's a, it's a nice top. You also have your refrigerator and of course your microwave. This does have AC and heat and there's your switch for that. And then of course your main head unit for your stereo. You do have some rod holders down here <clears throat> so you can store your rods for any hardcore fishermen out there. Again, tons of features on these. We can't get to everything. We just try to give you an idea of what you're looking at. If you have more questions, make sure and give us a call at 419 684-5365. You can check us out at clemensboats.com. While you're there, don't forget to like us on Facebook. Check us out on Twitter at clemensboats1. And again, if you have any questions, please get a hold of us, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.